chat going up. We were just talking about the Dr. Doom T-Rex. Yeah, <laughs> the T-Rex There's baby. none left. But I did grab one. I'll show you guys awesome. in a little bit. We're going to go over everything today. Let me get the live chat up real quick. Too. All right. I'm going to start with Alien. You guys will have to comment down below and let me know what your top book is this week. There's a lot of them. New yeah. Superior Spider-Man Aliens, came out. Another miniseries. <laughs> yeah, this is the one in 25. Try to get the glare yes, off there for you. Man. 20th Century Fox. Issue number one. Who we'll did that cover? It's a six dollar cover price on this one. Alpha Flight number four. Tombs. Might as well be a coloring book inside. I think this is. Is this a number one? Number five. Children of the Vault. Issue number four. Cover A. Looks like there's no variant for that one this week. I have to buy this. Oh, what's going on? Good morning, Rob. Good morning, Which Rob. Which one is that one? Coda? Why are you buying Coda? Because my friend Corey is a huge Yoda fan, and his nickname, he calls himself Coda because of Yoda and Corey. Oh, there you go. <laughs> what are the odds that they made it? There you Coda. go. Yeah, they got a $7 version variant here. Doing good, man. How are you doing, Rob? How's everybody doing? Hope everyone's having a great day. We're over here at Acme for New Comic Book Day on this wonderful... Actually, it's kind of rainy out today. Hey, from the UK, what's going on? This is... Is that Rob Liefeld? No, it kind of looks like it a little bit. Issue zero of Dutch from Image. Let's see what else we got over here. The X-Men. Everybody was talking about the Doctor Doom cover. There Was that Alex Ross that did that? You have one? Oh, there you go. Look at him riding the... Uh, what is that? A, a that's a, a version of him. Yeah, that's that's a Doctor Doom T Rex. <laughs> that's awesome. So I guess it goes with um, Alligator Loki, right? Probably. Yeah, just like yeah, yeah. That's pretty funny. This one's really nice here. The thing. These are the Moon Knight and variant covers. We got the Martin Cucolo. I think that's how you pronounce that. The Stormbreakers variant. Fantastic Four was pretty popular this week. Ghost Rider, I think, has a little bit of a key issue in it, too. Oh, that's sick. You got the one in 25. That's awesome. Issue number 20. That's pretty cool. What is this right here? This is Fish Flies, issue number three. What's up, Michael? Good morning, everybody. Or good afternoon, whatever time of day it is. Comment down below your top book for this week. There's lots of them. The Superior Spider-Man Scotty might be my favorite cover, but there's a lot of cool um, like little 1 in 25 variants going on, too. Arcade Kings, Image Comics, issue number 5. Antarctica? Arctic. Uh, that's kind of hard. Top cow. <laughs> Animal Pound. Oh, this is a new one here. Number 1. They have the... Uh, Ashcan Unlockable Virgin Variant. The Cole. This is issue number four, yeah. Black Label. Danger Street 11. DC Black Label. <coughs> and then we got the new Daredevil. Issue number three, variant cover. You have another one of the Knights End with Moon Knight. And then John Romita Jr. on the uh, cover A here. Legacy 665. Here's the Ghost Rider. What does it stay right there? Plus a story guest starring the Spirit Rider. That's pretty fun. This is a really nice regular variant too with Moon Knight. There's cover B. Don't forget to show them the sleeper covers on G.I. Joe. Yeah, there's a lot of covers on G.I. Joe. I might get yeah, a sketch well, cover. Two, I'd recommend a sketch here. Geiger Ground Zero. This is a new Geiger book, issue number one. They have the one in ten here. Which one did you grab? I grabbed both covers. This is the uncensored original cut from Larry Hama. 
because this is different from the Marvel collection. So, because this is the one that this was written the way Larry Hama wanted it written. That's a cool cover there. I like yep. that one. They did both. Well, they did a variant on this one. So they got a bunch of different ones over here too. And then Let's 301 see. gives you the regular cover, the uh, just the pencils and ink cover for 301, and then you have the sketch cover. So is this still 301? Like this is the same no, book? No, those are those are by themselves. Oh, so this is two different books. Yeah, that's why I said those two are the Larry Hama covers or the Larry Hama story that was. Oh, um, I thought it was the same book. He okay. did it as an original in terms of rewriting it. Maybe I'll get a. Uh, there's then, a couple of, of them back the here. A blank sketch. There with the blank variant. That's pretty cool. GI Joe. Three or one. Have is the one in ten, so. No one in ten though. They got a bunch of them here. Looks like maybe someone bought it up. The Deadpool is a new one too. Seven Slaughters. You have issue number one. There's a variant cover there. And there was the one in 25, Art Adams. I don't know where it went. Which one is this? Oh, Ryan Brown. Look at Ryan Brown. That one's pretty cool with the gauntlet. I think this was definitely a top cover. It's a $10 cover price, though. Thicker book. What do we have over here? The new Batman Detective. We are at issue 1077 on Detective. Well, that's a cool cover there. Which one is this? We have a 1 in 25. Solomon Grundy, Wanted. And the 1 in 50, which is the black and white of the regular cover A. Batman and Robin. Oh, uh, that's a fun yes, variant there. And you have the action figure variant, uh, the McFarlane toy variant. Big game. This is another cool one here, the one in twenty-five. Lots of small little details in the back. Black Panther. What else is down here? Oh, this is the new one, right? Yeah. For uh, like Christmas, the Deviant number one. I saw they had like a cool cover for this somewhere. I guess someone might have snagged it up. Here's the one in ten. And oh, look at this Black Panther. That's sick. With Moon Knight. That's really cool. Yeah, that's what it is. Is that the the one right now? Issue six variant cover are how the issue was supposed to originally be written by Larry Hama Cap versus what was released in the Marvel Oh, and the version. new Blade came and out, too. So it's going okay. to be rewording. Good morning. What's up? I, I saw the first thing for... Checking out all the new books for new comic book day. It's a pretty busy no, day, the, too. Everybody's busy Skybound today. Not that much Blade on the wall. The, um, well, that's supposed to be this so Larry cool Hama's a real American hero continuity, right? The werewolf, which is what they're continuing in Sky Battle. Cap Wolf. Yes. All right. And then you have the Energon Universe. Scout one, Comics, new number one. And the Corporal Commander. Okay. This is not part of Energon. Dungeons and Dragons. That is correct. Yes. Okay. No problem. Oh, yeah, that's right. why I said. That's why I said. Oh, we're figuring out the context of the book over here. Rewritten by Larry Hama because that oh, I, was. Everybody's confused. What is this? Whoa! Look at the Godzilla. Godzilla Rivals. What's going on, everybody? Brandon, Matt, Jonathan. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining me live today. Hope everyone has a great day. Just checking out some of these cool books. Look at that. Godzilla. It's a retailer incentive, one in ten. Seventeen bucks. A lot of times, like certain ones tend to sell out quick. What else we got over here? Oh, what is this new Lord of the Rings box from Magic? That's pretty cool. That's the one where they were trying to pull the one ring. Yeah. I think Post Malone has it now. He did. I think he spent one or two million on it. Yeah, it was crazy, huh? Green Lantern, issue five. I think that's the uh, cover B, though. Haunted Girl, issue two. And then we're on... Is this the finale of the... Um, I thought this was like a four-issue series, right? It might be a little longer. But Astonishing Iceman... With Spider Man. Project Cryptid. And then Project. For Mankey, what was that? Red Goblin. Oh, that's a sick Red Goblin cover there. 
Or Venom? Was that Inyaki? Savage Red Sonia? Oh, that's a nice Red Sonia cover there. The Perilla? That one's nice. That's gonna be a reprint because they already came out. This one? No, one, one already released. Is that a reprint? I have not been. So one already released. Flip it around real quick. I don't read the barcode. I got to meet Zeb Wells and I got to tell him. It doesn't say it on the barcode there. Usually it would say this one came out the last week. Did it? Maybe they just threw it back on the wall or something. What is this? That's Red Sonja 5. So that's number 5. two different books. Perilla does a great job, though. Red Sonja was pretty popular this week. Dynamite's been doing a cool job with these incentive variants. And they're probably super affordable. And this one here. Not sure. But that's Prism number 2. That's not Red Sonja. This is a really nice Lindsner cover, though. One in 15 for 11 bucks. Yeah, it looks like Dawn. Right? From back in the day. Yeah. Well, it's the same guy. Like, Lindsner's the guy that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joseph Lindsner. Yep. That is a nice one. Which one's better, though? The Dawn lookalike for Lindsner or the Frizzing cover? I think the Lindsner like definitely is better because it's more eye-catching. You like this one better than that one? Yeah. That one's more eye-catching, so... One. But in color. Oh, what is that? Bjorn Barons? Yeah, yeah Bjorn Barons does a great job. That's a 1 in 15 black and white. Let's see what's behind here. Oh, that's the Perillo. Like negative space, kind of. Or not negative space, but like a, like a blue white wash or whatever is on there. What else do we have? Red Goblin. This is a really cool cover. I kind of wish they would stop putting all the different movies at the top, though. Got to start leaving the covers more simple. Just leave the artwork. Superior Spider-Man. This one was not as popular as I think everybody was was hoping for. Oh, that's a, that's a fun cover there, huh? Yeah. That's the one in twenty five. The one in twenty five is pretty sick. Yeah, there's lots of DC stuff out this week. Batman as usual. The new Detective came out. Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time. Now available on Amazon Prime. Is anybody watching this on Amazon? I didn't know this came out. What is this one here? The Great Hunt. Cool. And then Walking Dead Deluxe. Issue 77. You gonna pick up a 1 in 25? I don't know. It would be uh, for sure if he had his, his uh, arms out. His back arms, but he doesn't. So oh, he's, if, if he had his tentacles one, he has, in the back. Yeah, yeah. That, would, that would be the seller on it. I know, I it is know, kind of a, really... a plain-looking cover a little bit, but it's mm, cool. It's good. I like the angle. That's what I like, too, is how mm -hmm. the... Mm -hmm. I like yeah, that. it's a good cover. And the barcode, the barcode too, code, is yeah. kind of slanted. That's good. I like that. Yeah, that's cool. I grabbed the other one. There's only two of them. Yeah. This Alien cover is really fun, too. For 19 bucks. You are wrong. Issue number one variant. And we got Invincible Iron Man. Any foils in DC? I don't think so. Not this week. They've been doing a lot of the reprints lately. This is Jean Grey issue 4. Look at all the different jeans. And then the new Philadelphia. So you got Spawn in Philadelphia. Issue 31. You have the J. Lee cover on B. And then there was a cover C that was a black and white to this one. Get yeah, Peach's Visions. Oh, this down here? Why is there only one left of this? Is this a popular book? Star Wars was popping this week. I just realized, wow. This whole row was filled and it's empty now. What is this one over here? Life Day? You have Dark Droids, Dr. Aphra. And then Life Day issue 38 variant. What is this? 40th anniversary cover by Chris Sprouse. That's a cool cover, though. I don't know. Oh, that, look at the wraparound, too. Oh, that's a grab, I think. That's pretty cool. Nice display, too. Let's put that in the pile. We got a big old pile. I do this every week. I don't mean to, but <laughs> it just happens, you know? Oh, we just uh, finished our fair out in we got uh, Tiberius, Leesburg, right. Oh, here's nice. more of the Wheel of Time. 
not great. <laughs> that one in seven, that one in ten is pretty cool. Seven bucks. Eight dollars on that one. X23 says buy it. <laughs> I got you. My wife and I are driving to Texas. Oh, that's a Kai. That's cool. On Visions, the guy that does Usagi. And then there's the Peach. We're gonna try to be back Wednesday night. We have the one in twenty-five. Because everybody's got one on Thursday, so we do one. And here's the Linsner one in ten. I think you definitely have to go with the color though. And then tow it back. The color. What's up, Nate? How's everybody doing today? We got lots of fun stuff coming out too. New video coming out on Friday from the house sale that we had, which was a lot of fun. Thank you to everybody that came out. Hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. And then, uh, yeah, just getting ready for the house sale on December 2nd. We got Joe's next sale is on the uh, 8th that's coming up of December. Nothing really going on in um, this month. The only thing going on this month is the uh, whatnot stream we have planned. So there's a big stream, our, like, uh, one that we're doing for the end of the year. It's a Black Friday stream. So if you guys want to check some of the books I have listed for the stream, you can right now. I got lots of pictures and stuff. But, uh, yeah, Black Friday, we're going to be doing a really big stream on whatnot, up to, like, 30% off on a lot of stuff. I got some really cool stuff listed, too. Last run and issue two. Did I pick up Deviant? I don't think so. If you rewind the stream, we looked at everything, so it should be there. This issue two, I don't know what this is though. This is the uh, the reprint, right? Because they had the number one, I think, last week, right? Siphon issue number one. This is a nice uh, Supergirl cover too. Oh, thank you, RM. Appreciate that. I always appreciate all the support. We had a lot of fun at the Thrift and Comics event too that we just had. World's finest. Teen Titans issue number five. You have the variant cover. And the one in 25. Silver Surfer, the Legacy. That's a cool one there. That's a great Silver Surfer cover. Yeah, the Bumblebee's cool. Is that her name, Bumblebee? This one's kind of like a little design variant. What's up, Alberto? Good morning. Dun -dun, the Madness, issue four. Lovecraft. This is a fun one here. Black Panther six. Should I grab it? I probably there's probably none left. I was gonna grab the cover with Moon Knight. Now that you said that, I want to grab it. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, this one, right? Should I grab it? I don't know. Silver Surfer does look pretty sick. I really like it. Let's grab one. Yes, Nate, we were actually just talking about that. That's what they're looking at down here. Not super popular, though. There's a whole bunch of them. It's a new Black Panther. All right. Well, I just like the cover, but if it's also a new first appearance, lots of color rub on the side over there. Try to find a nice one. So modern. What do we have up here? Let's check out these. Blade? Yeah, Blade is looking really cool. I don't know who this character is. Must be low print run, though, because every week there's not that much Blade. Blade and Daredevil doesn't get a whole bunch of uh, prints. Look at this, though. 9.9 .9 on the CGC slab. 9.8 on the Black Panther. I don't know who sent these out. I don't think Acme did. Let's see what else we got. Red Sonia. I really like this one. Should I grab this? I think I'm going to grab this. It's only 11 bucks. Did the Scotty Young Batman drop? Oh, I, did they release it? I don't know. I ordered the... Uh, um, I think it was like what five pack or whatever it was. So I'm waiting for it. Oh, Tanyan did the Deviant. Okay. Any Scotty this week? Yeah, we have the um, Superior Spider Man with Scotty Young. 
This is one of those few covers without a voice bubble or something. They'll tangled up. We have new Wildcats. Issue number 12. What is Dark X-Men? That is a rad Havoc cover. You don't see Havoc too much. That's pretty cool. That is a crazy title for a comic there. <laughs> Issue 80,085. <laughs> There's Peach Momoko. So is Peach writing this? Is she doing the writing on this book? It's a number one. That's a really cool cover there, too. Yes, get it. All right. Let's see what else we got this week, and we'll come back. There's plenty of them up there. The store's kind of dead right now. It's always busy. First thing in the morning, there's like a mad dash for all the books. And then it's usually pretty dead in here. Ministry of Compliance. Yes, Nate, we did check out the Doctor Doom covers. I only grabbed one. I probably should have grabbed two of them. I didn't realize how many people were going to be into it. The Ministry of Compliance. Is that a new number one, too? Cover B, issue one, yeah. That's cool, new number one from IDW. We have Epic, something Epic. And then the new, oh, there's a new Spawn, I didn't even realize. That was a pretty crazy cover. Spawn issue, what is that, 347? Is there no other covers, though? Is that it? What is this? The Flash? Speed Force number one? No other covers for Spawn? Is that it, really? Okay. The Immortal Thor. Oh, that's a sick one there. Look how cool that is when you get up close. You got Falcon, Iron Man. You even got Kang over there, too. Ultron. Thanos. That's a pretty sick cover. And the one in 25. We have Moon Knight on the night's end. And that looks like Alex Ross. Immortal Thor. Operation Sunshine. Outsiders number one. I think this was on Key Collector for something. A little key issue. One in 25. And then there's the one in 50. Oh, thank you, Rudolph. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'll show everybody what I picked up in a little bit. Not too big of a stack. Should I grab a, um, I, I don't think I'm going to grab this. I'll grab the Star Wars instead of this. I grabbed the Scotty Youngs. But we'll grab the Star Wars. That's pretty much it this week. Oh, and I almost forgot this one. This is a really nice cover, too, if you're a Loki fan. Final episode came out from the Disney Plus series. There's only one issue left of this. It's a pretty popular one. Mortal Thor. The second printing, though, on issue number two. And that looks like about it. What else do we have? Oh, the new Sandman came out. This is issue two. Cameo appearance of the Fog, I think is what it is. Are those timeless covers? Um, these down here aren't. Those are the, uh, I think, what are those? The Knock covers, right? Like, those are Knock, um, like, just headshot covers, I think is what they are. But then down here are timeless variants. So that's the villain set that came out. I think it was this year. But then sometimes they'll have the uh, superhero ones that came out a few years ago. That's pretty much it. Let's see if we're missing anything. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot the Star Wars. So which one do I grab is the question. Morning from Toronto. What's up, King? Good morning. Which one do I grab? I guess you have to go with the Momoko cover, right? Because it's a Peach Momoko Star Wars like, number one. So go with the cover A. The Sakai is cool, too. I think I'm just going to go with cover A. Nice and simple. Cover A, all right. Make it nice and easy. Let's see what our stack's looking like. I just want to make sure I felt, feel bad. <laughs> Definitely grabbing this. Sarah will enjoy that. Lindsner <laughs> no. cover. I want to hear that. Hang on. Go on. You're 
Oh boy. So it's bottom. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Alright, so spicy. one in fifteen. We have Star Wars Visions. Peach oh, Moko. Oh, this is another sick cover here. Oops, with Moon Knight. Down, issue six. I got the action figure variant on Batman and Robin issue three with Robin. Deadpool. Seven Slaughters issue one. I might put this back because um, I'll show you guys what I did grab. This is a $10 book, so a little pricier. Here's the Fantastic Four with Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom, T-Rex, the Philadelphia 31 black and white. I always love when they do these black and whites and they're the same as the cover price. I think Philadelphia is, uh, yeah, $4. So I got the black and white on Philadelphia. Immortal Thor, second print, first cameo appearance. I think next issue is going to be the first full appearance of the Fog. Which I don't think he's going to be like a crazy character, but it's just a cool new DC guy. Two copies of this. Superior Spider-Man, Scotty Young. That's a fun one. Always got to grab the Scotties. And I did grab cover A of the new Ghost Rider. And I grabbed this one too with Moon Knight. I don't know, should I put the variant back with Moon Knight and just go with the cover A? I do like the Moon Knight variant. Right, we'll put that one to the maybe maybe pile. G.I. Joe, number one. I'm gonna grab that. And then here's the other new character in Ghost Rider. Really? I didn't know that. I'm gonna grab this. I really like it too. I didn't realize until he, he said it though, but yeah, it would have been cool if they would have put the uh, the legs on there. But I just like how the barcode's kind of different and the logo's cool. So that's the other ratio we're going to grab. Here's the Daredevil. This is um, Addy Granoff on Daredevil 3. It's a simple one, but it displays nice. It's a nice Daredevil cover. Super high grade copy, so I'm going to grab that. And then this is what I'm thinking about. So what should I do? It's the one in twenty-five R Adams, and it's thirty-two bucks. But the regular cover is um ten bucks. So I mean, it's an extra twenty-two dollars. But you get the one in twenty-five R Adams. So what would you rather do? Our decision. It's a pretty nice copy. Unfortunately, it's one of those thicker books, so they all kind of have that little corner problem. Take the regular cover. You guys think one this yes on arthur adams oh no now we're getting split up here <laughs> adams all day oh this is gonna be difficult is gi joe the start of the energon universe book does anybody know oh and then the new star wars i got that too i don't know what energon is what is that let me see if i can get this out of here with one hand essentially so is is that like what 301 is what no, I think that's separate, I was told. That is just, um, I think that's separate from the Energon universe. I think Duke is the first thing that's going to come out for G.I. Joe set in the universe. Okay. But I'm not sure. Meech says yes. The Skybound universe, okay. Well, this thing pretty is pretty much cool, the one too. That just came out now. I'm definitely going to grab this. It's a continuation from Larry Hama's Real American Hero series. Right, but is it set in the Energon universe? No. Ratios drop. No. Yeah, Sky, no. that's what I'm saying, too. I thought it was going to be. No. Mm -mm. Not that. What would Sarah say if you came home with both? You see, probably a whole bunch. <laughs> um, G.I. Joe is supposed to tie into the new Transformers book. Aren't they going to be doing a G.I. Joe Transformers movie? That would be sick. That's what they need to do. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's grab, we'll put the ratio back, and then we'll grab these two here. Yes. We'll do that. Are you skipping on that? Yeah, you want to take it? Yeah, maybe. Let's see. If I want that. Let's see what it looks like. I just put it back. I have no idea. <laughs> it's a cool one. The other one was messed up. Alright, boys. Get out of here. Wednesday's my Thanksgiving party. If you guys want to come out? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Thanksgiving's right around the corner. Well, I do it on next week, right? So Wednesday night, yeah. So Wednesday night at seven, we do the big potluck. That right there is the biggest thing for me. It's kind of like this paper quality. Oh, JG, thank you, man. It's like splitting already at the top there. You guys next week.
We still do yeah. mm. Thanksgiving coffee. That's, yeah, that's the bad water. 34 bad bucks, though, I think right. I'll last. It's good. Real one and real five. Let's see if it's here next week. Yeah? Everybody you going to take it? No. Oh, no? <laughs> Put it back on the shelf. Give it to someone else. Well, there's another one out there. Put it back on yeah, I don't think there's anything else over here. But I appreciate you, JG. I appreciate all you guys hanging out every week. Let's see. We'll walk around. So I, let me tell you, since everything's over again, Sarah's always yelling at me because I never like promote anything on the YouTube. So I got to start promoting stuff a little bit. <laughs> but um, yeah, so Black Friday, we're doing a huge whatnot stream. So if you guys are you know, looking for um, like a trusted seller on whatnot, looking to buy some cool books. I got some expensive stuff that I'm going to be listing. Nothing super crazy, but um, some stuff ranging from like 20 to to $100. We got some slabs. I got pictures of everything. So uh, that Vampire Tales is cool, Morbius. Planet of the Apes. That's sick, too. I'm excited for the new Planet of the Apes. Um, it's a movie, right, they're coming out with, I think. There's some more Red Sonia. But yeah, so Black Friday, we're doing a really cool um, whatnot stream. I'm not sure what time it's going to be at because whatnot is going to uh, schedule us, I think. I'm not sure if they're going to do that yet, but the Madam Web trailer dropped. I didn't see that yet. No, someone said the Madam Web trailer dropped. What is our whatnot site? It's the same thing as our uh, like the YouTube channel. So everything is the comics den. If you look at us, we got over 20,000 sold items. Five star reviews, next day shipping. You guys know we don't mess around, so it's gonna be fun. It's the first stream back in a long time, so we're going pretty heavy. Looks good, better than Craven. Someone said on the Madam Web trailer. I have to check it out. I haven't seen it yet. The Craven trailer looked pretty fun though. And then they got the um, the uh, Echo series is coming out too, which I heard is gonna be like mature rated. Oh, that's pretty cool, Lady Death. But yeah what else do we have so um black friday we're doing a really cool sale on whatnot the second of december is our our house sale we're gonna have thousands and thousands of dollar books thousands of pre-priced stuff it's gonna be lots of fun we'll be shooting some footage too so i hope hope a lot of people can uh, make it out it was a lot of fun at the last one you guys will see friday's video and then uh we have oh yeah joe's sale on the 8th Joe at the comic book connection. I think he's just going to do the small, like, barn sale, though. But uh, Joe's is the 8th and the 9th. And then um, I think there's some more stuff going on. I'll try to keep you guys updated. I think that's it. I didn't see anything new on the walls here. Just checking out some of the back issues. Let's see what everybody's up to. Is the house sale on Saturday? Yes, our house sales are on Saturday. Joe does his sales on Fridays and Saturday. We do ours on just the uh, Saturday. So it's going to be the 2nd of December, which should be a Saturday. <laughs> Looks like their back issues are getting eaten up over here. They must have some good stuff, huh? Let's see. Invincible Iron Man. I always try to get, like, a reference because we've been getting a lot of nice stuff in. So it's good to look at what other people are pricing their stuff in. Eight bucks. There you go. Invincible Iron Man, 129 What's up? Let me just get the chat up here. The chat's moving really fast. Can't Need Kid, everybody, do me a favor if you can. Go check out Can't Need Kid's um, YouTube channel. He's another Florida comic book collector. Give him a check out. Happy comic book day. What's going on, Chris? Hope you're having a good one. I got some really cool Green Arrow and uh, Green Lantern books. It's pretty much just Green Lantern, but I put a lot of these in my dollar section, too, at the house sale. The house sale is going to be crazy. It's going to be a lot of fun. People are going to get some crazy books. I'm going to be hiding all kinds of stuff, too, so make a little treasure hunt. And then we're setting the wall up. It's pretty much going to look exactly like this. Well, not exactly, but I have my wall with all the racks set up, so it'll be a big display like that. Let's see. We got some Daredevil Volume 2. Echo's coming out soon. Some of these Daredevil covers are really cool. We got issue some of the older stuff here. What do they got their Daredevils priced at? Five bucks. See, I got a lot of this stuff that in this new collection. It's really nice. I rebagged and boarded it. I put it all at like $4. But then I think I'm going to do like buy three, get one free or something with a lot of my pre-priced stuff. I'm not sure yet. Figure something out. And then stuff like this for like three bucks. I just throw this in my dollar section. 
Oh, this is cool. That's issue 25 Art Adams variant. This is, um, is this the death of Captain America? I think it was Steve Rogers, right? Oh, yeah, here's the regular one. Yeah, there you go. So that's the regular cover. That's cool. Let's see what they got on the back wall over here. Let's see, anything new? X-Men. He was signing them for like a few bucks Seems, I need one of these. Oh, whoa, look at that. That's pretty cool. Is that Frank Miller? Of course, I got lucky because that is Frank Miller. That's pretty yeah. crazy looking. 57 bucks. And he was at a show. Wolverine. I, I think it says Wolverine Ghost Rider. One in 50. I got him to sign, like, That's pretty sick. Oh, this one has a card in it. That's awesome. You get the matching card. And this one right here is a great one. First Cat vs. Punisher. It's another Miller cover. Limited series. First Solo Punisher. It's really cool. Alpha Flight. Let's see what else we got over here. All right, everybody. I think we're going to be getting out of here pretty soon. Get my books all situated. And then we're going to head home. I got I'm pricing up stuff for the house sale we got on the second. And uh, yeah, the, the sale on Whatnot is going to be a lot of fun. We haven't been on Whatnot in a while, so. Oh, that's awesome. I hope we see a lot of you guys out there. It's going to be a lot of fun. I promise it's worth your while, too. Can you imagine you signing, say, like, saying a book? I got some Ghost Riders in, too. Some nice ones. Some, uh... I got a Spotlight 7, 9... This is a great one here. Crypt of Shadows. Number one. 35 bucks. That's a pretty clean copy for $35. Great cover, too. Some Marvel. So he's charging, he's charging like 35 bucks. This one's got a little bit of discoloration on the side here, but this one's a nice one. Well, because the thing is, Moon Knight. More Miller down here. These Frank Miller covers. One in 100 on the blade, but then you also have the Daredevil there. Is that much. Thanos, Cosmic Ghost Rider. That's a cool one there with Clyde. Detective Comics. Honestly, I would tell you this much. The worst. That's a fun one there. 476. Anybody? Number two exists in other countries. Was a month. And that was. And that was. Watchmen. This is such a cool book here. First appearances of a bunch of characters. You have Rorschach, Osmandias, Dr. Manhattan, Silk Spectre, Night Owl, The Watchmen. I used to love this movie, too. Someone calling with health care benefits is obviously a scammer. Okay. Yeah, had a comic book. <laughs> work at a comic book shop. <laughs> All right. They, they, still, they still got the Marvel Legends series played here. It's still available. I think that's it. The initial release date was. Sorry, sir. I'm just gonna take a look at the alien. Did someone buy the alien variant? Oh no, it's over here. I'm thinking about this one. This is sick. I really gotta admit, the only reason I think I'm not gonna buy this is because of that. It's got like this big border all the way down. Would have liked if it would have just been a regular like version of it. Would be cool. But, all right, everybody. I'm going to get out of here for the day. Got to head home and get ready for the uh, Black Friday Whatnot stream. Like I said earlier, I'm not sure what time it's going to be at because I think Whatnot's going to schedule us for a certain time. Yeah, that border definitely doesn't help it at all. <laughs> all right, let me see the chat here. What's going up, Joe? Thank you. From Texas. That's awesome. Love the Miller issues. Yeah, those are cool. The Whatnot sale is going to be on Black Friday. Not sure what time it's going to be because um, Whatnot sent us an email. I think they're going to feature our stream or something like that, they said. So I got to see and wait and see if we get featured or not. But if we don't get featured, we'll probably do it later on in the day, like 6 or 7 o'clock at night Eastern. And then, uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun stream. I'm, I haven't listed the auctions yet. We're going to run a bunch of cool dollar auctions. I haven't listed those yet. I'm just getting the Buy It Now situated. But uh, you can check out the Buy It Now of our Whatnot stream if you want and see some of the cool stuff we're going to have. Oh, this is a cool one here. Street Fighter. I'm getting distracted. 
the Omega. I didn't pick this up last week, did I? I don't remember. Man, it's crazy how many freaking back issues they have here. And this isn't everything. They got so much stuff in the back, too. I go through all this stuff one of these days. Especially if, you, uh, if you're you looking to complete some of your modern runs. I think you got a great little selection. All right, everybody. We're going to end it on the Power Rangers. <laughs> hope you all have a wonderful day. Comment down below your top book. We'll see you next week for new comic book day. And I hope you guys enjoy the video on Friday. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Take care, guys.